Allah has created us, and by His will, He will take our souls back. At the moment of death, we are categorized into two groups, those who are happy and those who are miserable. A person who lives in this world believing in Allah, doing righteous deeds, and living a life of goodness will end up in a state of happiness. Conversely, a person who disbelieves in Allah or disobeys Him, living a life filled with sins and disobedience, will die in a state of misery, especially if they die without repenting. Let's discuss what happens to a believer when they die. Firstly, we know that the angel of death will come to them and gently ask their soul to depart. The soul begins to leave the body, starting from the feet, then moving upwards until it reaches the head. The angel of mercy takes the soul and places it in a celestial vessel, which is then transported to the heavens. Along the way, the inhabitants of each heaven marvel at the beauty and fragrance of the soul. Upon reaching the seventh heaven, Allah, above his throne, orders the highest place in paradise for this righteous soul. After this decree, the soul returns to the body in the grave. Angels question the deceased about their faith, and a voice from the heavens confirms their truthful answers. The grave is adorned with the fragrance and attire of paradise, and the deceased receives glad tidings from their good deeds. The good deeds appear in a beautiful form, reminding the deceased of their righteous actions in life. Overwhelmed by the sight, the deceased eagerly awaits the day of judgment to enter paradise. This journey illustrates the fate of a believer after death, showcasing the mercy and rewards that await those who lived a life of faith and righteousness.